Melon family. I have um, Maximus here and just showing you our progress so far for this week. We had five days last week training and this is our third day this week. So that's only eight full days in training. We have Lightness on Leash. Switch my e-collar hand. It's hard to train and do at the same time. Got Light Leash Point of Contact. I can send him to an obstacle, have him sit, walk away. It's his job to stay there. Bring him to heel. Sit. Good boy. Walking nicely at my side. One of my favorites you'll use a lot. Go to bed. Lie down. Lie down. Good boy. Lie down. 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 Good. I'm using overlay e-collar. Even with distractions. Their dog's all there. We call this the patience chain. He spends plenty of time out there during the day waiting their turn to work. We're able to get multiple sessions and then when I'm done with him after this, he's going to get to go play and romp. Have a big time. So it's his job to stay there until I come touch the leash and release him. So we're going to do that again since that first one wasn't that great. So we're going to do here, go to bed, lie down, lie down, down, down. Very good. Good boy. Here. Heel. Sit. Good dog. Lightness of the leash to go up to obstacles. Good boy. And to come. Sit. Here. Good. So we have all these difficult, slippery obstacles to go over, and all I have to do is touch the leash, and he goes right over. He needs a little more momentum. He's half asleep right now. Let's go, bud. There you go. Got our scary dog walk. Touch the leash lightly. Oops. Okay, not ready for that just yet. That's okay. I might not have worked him on that enough yet. Good boy. So anyway, just trying to uh, get you guys a video update with our training. He's definitely very much a six-month-old puppy mentally. That's it. And he's doing well. Have a good week.